next few lessons, I want to go over these features that you see here. And on um, this, the back end part of you have the back end and you have the front end, but pretty much whatever you can do on the back end, you can do on the front end with some exceptions, which I'm going to go over later. Uh, but since most of the your team is going to spend a lot of time on the front end rather than the back end, I want to give you a quick overview here for each one. And we're going to first start with the project. So you want to click on the projects uh, icon here. And this is where you're going to be able to create your project. So whenever someone starts something new, you just start working with a new client and they give the details. And this is where you come to put that in. So you add your project, you click on new. Uh, once again, we're going to be doing this on the front end of the site. You can do both the back end uh, or the front end of the site. But I'm going to do it more on the front end because that is where your team is going to spend, you know, most of the time. They really shouldn't get access to the back end. Uh, only you should get access to the back end of the site like this. Only you or if you're the project manager of uh, a company should have access to this. You don't want to give your team access to this part um, just yet. You know, just certain people, which is your project manager Everyone else is going to get access to the front end um, of the site and they can pretty much do uh, a lot of things that you need them to do. Uh, and the reason for that is you can be able to manage, you know, who gets access to what. But if you allow everyone to get access to this admin part of it, you know, they can change something by accident or intentionally. It can cause a lot of confusion. So you definitely want to, you know, keep that restricted. All right. So this is your uh, your project section here. This is where you add projects. This is where you can you can delete projects, you can trash, you can um, archive projects, uh, you can unpublish, you can edit. So in this part here, you have complete control over the projects that are here. You can choose to edit them, edit them, even if you didn't create the projects. If someone else created a project, you as the site owner can come back and read the details and you can, you know, edit the project. You can delete it if you think something's wrong with it or whatever it is. You have absolute, you know, control over the project section. So this is, you know, where um, you're going to spend, you know, a lot of time because when you when you log into the site, and let's say you have uh, ten new projects, well, this is where you're going to be able to see. So when your staff logs in on the front end, every time that they add a new project, it's going to automatically show up on the back end here. So when you put your mouse here, you click on, it, you can just, you know, use this options here um, for it. Uh, so that everything that they're doing on the front end is showing on the back end and gives you absolutely 100% control. Uh, if you notice here for this one, uh, it shows you the the deadline for this. If there's a deadline, it's going to show the deadline. Um, the access is set to public, which you don't want this to be set to public. And I'm going to cover that soon. Uh, and then you have the author who is who created this project. So. Uh, when your team member creates something, it's going to show you the person's name right here. You can connect uh, the project to the to, um, staff. And also, you can see the date that that particular project was created. So these are valuable information that you need to know. And also, you have a category here. So you're going, you're going to be able to create different categories for your projects. And the reason why you need to create categories is because it allows you to be able to organize things accordingly. You just don't want to have a bunch of stuff going on and you don't know where things are, how to find them, and you know a whole bunch of things. So you definitely need to create some categories, which we'll take a look at that, uh, that in the next video.